Okay, well, thank you for joining us for a, or the first episode of Cleaning with Kimber. I am the owner of Kimber Clean Housekeeping in Connecticut. So the first thing I'm doing is assessing what this bathroom needs today. This is a small, full bath. It's fairly clean. I'm going to now take my disinfectant. It's a hospital grade disinfectant and I'm going to start spraying all the surfaces. This particular disinfectant made by Diamond Products is a hospital grade disinfectant. The dwell time based on my mixing ratio is three to five minutes. And when I say dwell time, I mean how long does this product have to sit on a surface to kill all viral or bacterial infections or bacteria? Three to five minutes for this particular one. If you're interested in the products that I use, I will put them in the description box below. So that being said, I am now going to grab, well, that's my paper towels. I'm grabbing my toilet brush. Okay, there it is. <laughs> this is a commercial toilet brush. I love them. It's not really a brush. It's this odd little mass of material that does such an amazing job at cleaning and scrubbing toilets my white eraser and that is a blue microfiber that is made for glass surfaces. I'm getting it wet and hot. It is clean so therefore I'm going to use it on my mirror. I'm letting my white eraser get hydrated while I wash my mirror with that clean microfiber. The beauty of using it while it's clean and fresh is you can use it on the mirror because it has no cleaning products on it. And you really don't have to use paper towels to dry it. It'll dry streak free and beautiful. These are the microfibers I use when I go in and do an entire house of window cleaning because I don't have to use paper towels ever. Just clean hot water sometimes a squeegee depending on the windows. So that's done. So you see, I'm doing this so that I'm allowing my disinfectant to have its dwell time, which it has had. So now you'll see we're just about on the three minute mark. Now I can start scrubbing and rinsing. I love the white erasers because they really do. They'll pick up on, you know, that red, orange, icky ring that's typically, you know, it's mildew and bacteria. It's from people spitting into their sinks and not rinsing their sinks. That, that just causes a buildup of bacteria and mildew and ugh. And so that white eraser will really take care of getting rid of that. Now remember, you're not using that white eraser on the toilet and you'll notice I only just wiped the top of that vanity with my wet rag that has already been sprayed with disinfectant. That is a two-sided scraping blade. One side is a plastic blade. The other side is a metal blade. Know your surfaces before you use them. If you don't know the proper way to use them, um, experiment on your own stuff <laughs> or ask me. I, will, I can do a, a video just for the proper use of blades on the right surfaces. So that paper towel that I'm cleaning up the excess water with, I'm gonna now use on my toilet so that I'm not wasting. I don't like to throw a lot of stuff into the environment. You will notice in my caddy that I use a, an ostrich feather duster way better than um, Swiffers because you're not throwing anything into the environment. And in my opinion, I think the, the feather dusters do a, a knock-up job, like way better than anything else, truly. Say there it is. My caddy 
probably weighs 20 pounds because I carry everything, all kinds of tools. And I'm going to do a video where I break down my caddy and let you see what, what I carry. When I go into a home, I typically only bring my caddy and my paper towels and I do all of my wet work first. And then I bring out my caddy and I get my upright vacuum cleaner and my duster. I actually do my duster before I bring my dusting before I bring my caddy out. Okay, I'm covering every surface here of this toilet. I've already swabbed the inside of the toilet bowl. Now I'm going around all those little fasteners and bolts and hinges. And you want to make sure you're hitting every surface, not just the top surfaces that you can see, but the underside, the baseboards surrounding the toilet, the base of the toilet, and the flooring around the toilet. All of that has to be disinfected. You're better off doing it with paper towels and disinfectant than trying to mop it. Mopping is not going to disinfect those areas, and you're never going to get in there good into all those little nooks and crannies. All right, hurry up, Kimber. Get that toilet done. Let's go. Let's get onto the tub. I don't even have the patience to watch myself sometimes. But in all honesty, when you're doing um, residential cleaning in a typical average bathroom of this size, it shouldn't take any more than eight minutes unless people are slobs, which we've all encountered that. Um, you want to ask, and when you have, and I highly advise having company policies that you give to each new client, and every time you revise them, you send them out. Um, let them know that you're there to do cleaning of surfaces. They need to put most of their clutter away so that you can do the cleaning. If they don't want to do that and you're expected to move copious amounts of stuff and clutter, they're going to be charged for it. Your time is valuable. Don't forget that. I have pretty gosh darn good clients that I've had for many, many years. And they just, they know the routine. They don't want to pay the extra. So they make sure that everything's off the floors, dishes are put away. And again, I always tell them, I don't mind doing it as long as you don't mind paying for it. Okay. So here I am, I'm using a white eraser. I'm cleaning all the surfaces, scrubbing them all. Love the white erasers because they do help remove Soap scum, grunge, dirt, whatever, shampoo, conditioner, who hasn't encountered that? The other thing that I will use, and I will spray my white erasers, I'll spray it with a product by Diamond called Problem Solver. This stuff is amazing, but again, know your surfaces. Problem Solver by Diamond will also peel paint off of surfaces. So again, know your surfaces. I have found it safe to use on fiberglass and it does a bang up job on it. You always want to approach cleaning using the least caustic method first, right? Before you have to resort to something like problem solver. But it happens. You want your final product, your final results to be absolutely stunning. That requires knowing what the right product for the job is. If you have any questions about products, put a comment below and I'll be happy to answer anything for you. Well, this has been fun. Happy cleaning. Hit subscribe if you like what you're seeing.